Hey guys, it's Rob. Thanks for tuning in to this Propellerhead update. This one is about the Utah UFO video. Some of you may remember that uh, I actually did some analysis on a video shot in Beaver, Utah. It was originally posted by Brian Hanley. And uh, I got a chance to actually visit that site in June of this year with my son. So uh, I have a little bit of video of that. It's only shot with a GoPro, but it's a little bit of uh, information that you might like. And uh, so here it is. Hello from Beaver, Utah. You didn't think you'd see me here, did you? Well, I didn't think I'd be here either. But uh, maybe you've seen the UFO video, and if you have, you'll recognize that this is the place where it was shot. Um, I think you might notice the bee up here. That's a good way to see that we're in Beaver. And uh, of course, that's the range there where uh, the, uh, the UFO came from, in quotes, still yet to be determined. And this place is beautiful. And I am traveling through and got the uh, opportunity to stop here, actually camp here as well. And one of the things I noticed was, uh, number one, little white butterflies, which is kind of cool. Uh, and we're at a different time of year than when that video was shot. It was obviously October and uh, now we're in, we're in uh, June, but the thing that I'm seeing here is there is a lot of cottonwood trees here. And cottonwood trees have that little uh, seed pod that, that, that drops off that's really fuzzy. It looks like cotton and flies through the air. So it is possible for that to be out in this scrub and to be kicked up by the wind, which across these hills can really get going. Now today is a beautiful day. There's barely, barely any. I see some birds. And maybe if we get a chance, we'll go a little further, but we're not exactly driving the most appropriate car for uh, these dirt roads, so we have some limitations as far as where we can go. But anyway, just want to let you, go, you guys know I'm, uh, of course, at work for you, as always, checking out these things and uh, really happy to be able to stop here in Beaver and check this place out. Um, kudos to the guys who did the drone footage and uh, let's see what we can find out. I'll be right back to you. Thanks. This is what the cottonwood trees look like in Beaver, Utah.
Okay, people, this is as far as I can get. I hiked up to a fence, and yeah, I could go through the fence. We're looking at this peak out here, right? Out here on the side of this uh, peak, this is, uh, I think, Black Mountain. There's the B. Out here on the side of this peak is where it looked like the object in the Utah UFO video originated from. But if I go any further, I go down and I don't have time to make it into the uh, ravine there and get, uh, or in the canyon and get to that area to see what's there. What I can tell you is there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of bugs out here. You see the butterflies, of course. There are a lot of things in the air here. I'm not saying that that's what it was that we were looking at in our video, but um, from what I'm seeing as we, as we hike through this territory, uh, you know, there's a lot of possibilities. Horse flies out here. Uh, obviously rattlesnakes, which you're trying to avoid. Because it is a wild, natural place, you know, there's a lot of stuff in the air. Changing elevations. There's a great breeze right now. I don't know if you can tell from the trees. I really think it's possible that the, uh, the Utah video was something that was in the air. And don't have a way to prove that, of course, but uh, I'm glad I came out here to take a look at it myself. Oh, I don't know if I oriented you correctly, but down this way, see the power lines. Uh, to you, they probably look really far away now because they are far away, and this is a GoPro. So they probably look really far away, but just the other side of those power lines is actually where the drone was. Uh, you might remember the power line uh, pole that's in the, the video. I actually measured one of the poles um, the shadow of the pole, that is. Uh, I'll give you that measurement uh, after I've had time to do the math. Measured the shadow and the time of day. We're at 12.30. So, anyway, it's a lot of fun. And uh, I hope this was somewhat interesting to you. It certainly is for me. Part of our adventure and uh, we'll let you know if we find anything else out. So, for now, for Propeller Head, signing off. See ya. All right, so there you go. Not too much to go on scientifically, just a fun look at the place. And uh, I had a lot of fun going there. It's a beautiful place. So anyway, uh, look for more from us on Propeller Head. We have another episode coming and some exciting news about a new platform we're launching. All right, thanks a bunch and we'll catch you soon.